thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss intersecting circles, number 18. The question says, two circles of radii, 3.5 and 4.2 centimeters with centers O1 and O2 respectively, intersect at points A and B as shown in the figure below. The distance between the two centers is six centimeters. Calculate part A, the size of angle A O1 B to the nearest degree. Therefore, I want us to calculate the angles just as we have been told to calculate them. And uh, I'll begin by sketching out of this diagram. You can see very well that uh, we can come up with a triangle here, which is going to be O1. A and O2. Then now we can draw a perpendicular line at that point such that we know very well that this distance is 3.5 and the distance on this side is 4.2 centimeters. Then now we want the angle at this point so that we may multiply it by 2 to get the whole angle at this point and also the angle at this point, so that we will multiply it by two to get the whole angle at center O2. All right, we can uh, let this part be H, and because the distance between the two centers, according to the instructions here, is six centimeters, then we can say from this point up to this point, we can let it be X, so that the remaining distance now, becomes 6 minus x because the total distance is 6 centimeters. So we have x, then 6 minus x. So now you can agree with me that uh, when we use Pythagoras theorem, we can express h and say h squared will be given by, considering the first triangle here, we can have a 3.5 squared, then uh, minus x squared and also h squared considering the second triangle can also be given by 4.2 squared minus 6 minus x squared yes 6 minus x squared so we square everything actually at this point so we can talk of uh, yeah, squared at that point. Therefore, now we can say because the two sides are giving us h squared, then we can equate them. We can say 3.5 squared. So 3.5 squared. This is giving us 12.25 minus x squared is the same as the other side, which is having 4.2. When we square 4.2, we're getting 17.64. Then minus, when we square whatever is in brackets, we're going to get 36. Then minus 12x plus x squared. Yes, that is what you get for that side. Therefore, now we can uh, find x by first of all saying 12.25 minus x squared equals to 17.64. Uh -huh. We can open brackets and remain with negative 36, then positive 12x, then minus x squared. Yes. Now we can group like terms and say x squared will cancel with x squared on this side. So that we may group like terms together now. So we can remain with 12x. This is equal to. Now we can take 17.64 minus 36. Then we take it to the other side whereby it becomes addition. And we're going to add 12.25. This gives us a 30.61.
so that the value of x now becomes when we divide this by 12 we're going to get 2.55 centimeters now that uh, the value of x is 2.55 centimeters the remaining part here in this triangle now that is now from this point up to the center you can call this one point m so that's from m to o2 that remaining portion now will become when we take 6 minus 2.22 this gives us 3.45 centimeters now with those two distances we can get into our calculations and talk about uh the angle at this part i can choose to use a any trigonometric ratio and for me to get angle alpha then because i have the adjacent length and the hypotenuse i can use the cosine of alpha equals to adjacent so 2.5 out of 3.5 yes so that you may say alpha will be given by the cost inverse of whatever is being obtained here now zero point okay 2.55 divided by 3.5 this gives us a 0 0.7286 so we can get now the value of alpha by taking a cost inverse of 0 0.7286 this gives us 43.23 times 2 so that we may get the whole angle at that point so when i multiply this by 2 i'm going to get 86.46 but now we've been told to the nearest degree so we remain with 86 as the angle the other angle at center o2 is going to be obtained by again the cosine of the angle, we can call it angle theta, will be given by adjacent length, which is a 3.45 divided by 4.2. So that the value of theta is given by cos inverse of, when we take 3.45, then we divide this by 4.2. I'm going to get 0 0.8214. Then when I find the cost inverse of 0 0.8214, I'm going to get that T 4.77. Then we multiply this by two now so that we may get the whole angle. So by two, I'm going to get 69.5 which becomes exactly 70 degrees because i'm told to the nearest degree now with the two angles we can proceed and find area of the multilateral a1 okay o1 a o2b the quadrilateral provided here you can see the quadrilateral here now that you can see the quadrilateral we can find its area this is going to be simple now that we are having uh, the two angles. We can use two triangles here from O1A, then B, which is here, through here. We can get the area of that triangle and also the area of the other triangle, and we add. So the first triangle, the first triangle is going to be because area of a triangle is R times the two sides. 3.5 times also 3.5 then the sine of the angle in between the two which is 86 then uh, we get the area there and also area two which is going to be half two lengths 4.2 times 4.2 sine of the angle included and the angle is 70 Therefore, we can get the first area, 0 
multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 3.5 then times uh, the sine of 86 this is going to be 6.11 square centimeters to two decimal places now the second area is going to be 0 0.5 that is half multiplied by 4.2 times 4.2 multiplied by the sine of 70 degrees and this is going to be 8.29 square centimeters therefore the total area the total area is going to be when we add the two now so we add to these values 6.11 and i'm going to get 14.37 yeah 14.40 square centimeters. 14.40 square centimeters. So that is the area of the quadrilateral. And finally, we are taught to find the shaded area correct to two significant figures using pi as 22 out of 7. Therefore, we're going to get area of a sector which is a O1 AB, this sector. So that is subtracted from the total area. Because it is the shaded part, we will get the shaded area. So the sector, remember, sector O1 AB. Remember, area of a sector is given by theta over 360 pi r squared. Therefore, when I take theta, 86, out of 360 multiplied by pi then radius 3.5 squared times 3.5 that will be d over 360 by r squared so i'll have gotten the area of the data area of the angle so i can take 86 multiplied by 22 multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 3.5 then I divide all this by 360 multiplied by 7. This is going to give us 9.197 square centimeters. Now with area of the sector, we can take area of the whole Contralateral 14.40, and I subtract 9.197. Therefore, I can take 14.4, and I subtract 9.197. This is going to give me 5.203. Remember, we have to find area to two significant figures. So two significant figures, I'm going to have 5.2 square centimeters. This is going to be the area of the shaded region.